When ST Genetics and the Ohio Heifer Center were going through the process of designing this barn and selecting which robots we were going to install in our milking center, it was very clear the Laley philosophy of free flow and animal welfare was consistent with the standards that ST Genetics has. And it was a very easy selection to pick the Laley A5 robots. One of the buzzwords in our industry as we evolve is robots versus rotaries. For us here at ST Genetics, the decision was robots right from the beginning. We never really considered a rotary, even though we are a large herd and handle large numbers of animals, because it, we wanted to have that individual connection to the cow that Laley offers with the free flow design we, we wanted to maintain a high standard of animal welfare where animals have their own freedom rather than working them in a group environment where they all go to the holding pen at the same time, they all still go through the rotary at the same time. We really wanted to develop a barn where a cow can be a cow. It's important to have lifetime database of information when you're trying to identify those genetically superior animals that eat less food. And that's the goal of our EcoFeed program, is to identify those bulls that will sire daughters that eat less feed. And one of the reasons we selected Laley as our partner in creating our data milking center is the amount of information that we can collect from the T4C program not just body weights of every time the cow comes into the robot, but the somatic cell score, obviously the pounds of milk, the fat, the protein, all the other things that come along with the data that the T4C program produces is vital to our overall goals within ST when we calculate our lifetime ecofeed index. We currently have 16 A5 robots in operation. We started in January, the week of the polar vortex, with the first eight. That was exciting. And we started with the second eight, the third week of March. So we've been happy with the operation thus far with the 16 A5s that are running. And we look forward to moving towards our goal of 800 cows in this facility.